getting good at golf if you've never done it before. Never. So, never. Never touched a club. No, never even touched a club, but you have like a member guest that somebody's invited you to in like a week. <laughs> so you're starting to search YouTube videos, how to play golf if you've never done it before. So um, this is actually a question for my Aunt Dawn, uh, who's been a great athlete her whole life, and she wants to, to play golf. And she said, hey, what should I do? So I gave her some suggestions, but what would you tell the golfer that's never done it before? You know, most golf books start with grip or stuff like that, but what, what would you say? I, I like to go with the motion. Okay. So, like, your aunt is a great athlete, so maybe she played tennis or maybe she did something else. She's a really good water skier and, yeah, like softball, stuff like that. Okay, so yeah. softball or batting. You know, we, we start looking at a throwing motion with softball. Now we say, okay, golf swing is an underhand throwing motion. So all of a sudden we want to tie into some analogies that they know how to do in another sport and see what can be tweaked to apply those to the golf swing. Okay. That would be the shortest way of doing it. Okay. So the first thing you would have somebody do would be like what, what should be like a little routine or practice routine for somebody who's walking out to the range by themselves and wants to. Okay, so let, let, let's, let's, yeah. t let's take your hand for example. So what we got is this, we talked about softball and tennis is another good one. We want a little top spin ground stroke, mm -hmm. a low to high. So those motions, we get the person, I have the person go ahead and learn how to control this club with their throwing or dominant hand, the right hand for right-handed golfers, and creating this motion right here, where we get that extension with the wrist, and we're just kind of making this underhand, this low to high top spin shot motion. And if we can get this going, wow, they're gonna catch on real quick. Okay, so no ball, let's just get that motion. Get the motion going. And right then, hand only. Right hand only. Then we just kinda, I go 10 finger grip automatically. No for interlocking. Yeah. yeah. So and then, a little close up on the grip here, Tony, for us. Get like just that. Straight up like that, so you get the, the little V I see made. A, a lot of amateurs I, I seem like put the thumb on like most people when they first grab the club with that real long thumb. Yeah, you know, yeah, so we want kind of like a trigger finger type thing. Yeah. And so that way, and a lot of times I also have people kind of push down and try to get this, feel like this knuckle is right in line with that. We use this as kind of pushing it down just to kind of get a feel for that. Yep. Okay. Ten and finger both grip. Ten finger grip. And then now start making that motion. Okay. And from there, we kind of just want to make sure that now we start expanding that motion. And I always use, recommend off a tee at first. Yeah. And then working from there. So can we make this little motion? Led by the finger, right arm. Led by the right arm. Little top spin, underhand tossing motion. And I'm not even worried about posture so much. Just let them get comfortable. They got enough thinking going on. And just try to make that motion right there. Yep. If we can get that nice little draw working, they're set. They're on the right path. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things when people are just starting, it is so new to them, is just to get a lot of swings in their body. Exactly. So. That's where I'll say, let's get a very narrow stance. Let's get the club moving. And I'll even have some people start out, just let the club swing. Just to get a feel and an idea of what a swing is versus a hit. Yeah. So many people are gonna wanna hit the ball. They wanna put their body into it. And that's just not gonna work. So if we can get that arm swing going and then start building up that arm swing and just really working from shoulder to shoulder. And then we, Hitting the ball, getting the ball up in the air is success. So this way, they're gonna to want to do it more often. Yeah, we had uh, we had a, a beginning golfer, a beginner golfer here at the uh, the golf school we just did yep. at Mike Bender Golf Academy, and um, so he had been having some really good progress. But what what was the prescription that we gave him that would be helpful for somebody that's saying, okay, I just want to start getting into it? Uh, you cannot do enough feet together drills right now. You can't do it too much. You can't do it too much. You know, so getting yourself situated. So we're on a little tee. Little the feet tea. are about a fist apart. Yep. And you play around with that. They don't have to be touching. And then just, again, working that club back from shoulder to shoulder is just, to me, the simplest way of doing that. And we can hit nice draws all day long. We're ahead of the game. And then as far as, because uh, I remember I, I, when I was on a date with my, my girlfriend at the time, not my wife, big success, uh, <laughs> I, I took her golfing and we had been on the range a, a bunch of times 
and then she hit it short of the green, and then I was like, okay, now chip it. And she goes, chipping? chipping. What's chipping? She had heard of putting and heard of hitting shots. What's chipping? So, so let's grab a wedge here, Tony. Okay. And let's just add a quick, important part about how to chip the ball for somebody who hasn't done it. It's, is it a mini version of what, what you were doing before, or is, it, or is there some uh, special thing to it? I wouldn't call it special. I would say that a lot of people play putt-putt. Yeah. Miniature golf. Mm -hmm. So to me, the idea of the, the putting motion with a shorter iron is a great way to chip. Yeah. So I'll even put the ball right in the middle, you know, and let them use, again, stay with the 10 finger grip. And just this idea of just a pendulum motion back and through, you know, and again, we, I'll start out one hand only to get that motion right yeah. there. Yeah. So then put both hands on there and just letting that go, just back. A little bit longer than a chip but that's more of a pitch but that's really it's like whatever length you want to create then creates whether it's a, it's a chip or a pitch so is the weight a little bit on the front side and you're making this putting motion at it i don't even get that much detail yeah with the beginner you just put it just put it yeah and let that go because again they got enough they're worried about and concerned about yeah they don't want weights over here this that's one of the things that i kind of you gotta be careful with beginners is too much information right you see, yeah, because like if you try to teach uh, algebra to a four-year-old, it's just gonna let's let's just get them used to the idea of numbers and that kind of thing. Exactly. Okay, if you guys have any questions, uh, Tony's at reactionarygolf.com. Hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the world of golf. Uh, some of you get really bit by the golf bug. Some of you will try it and hate it, and never do it again. <laughs> but uh, at, uh, let us know any questions you have and uh, other videos that you'd like to see. All right, see ya, bye.